Hello, everybody. Welcome to Both Lego. More progress this week. Uh, we're starting to get into systems a little bit and trying to figure out wire runs and fuel line runs and, and brake line runs and things like that. Um, a good bit of priming. We're actually running out of parts to prime. I want to say this week uh, we did the maybe not the last round of priming, but uh, maybe the one before. Um, you'll notice those are the seat rear seat floors and the baggage floors uh, that we primed right there and uh, i'm dimpling the stiffener i'm sorry i'm riveting the stiffeners onto the baggage floors and uh, i don't put them in right away you'll notice that it takes us a couple of days to actually put those in and that's because underneath those baggage floors you'll see that there are um, a bunch of wire runs and i put in conduit i put in three per side and I also ordered the number two battery wire, um, and I ran that down the left side as well. So I have three three-quarter inch per side plus the, the battery run. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Um, it, it is a bit of a hassle if I have to take one of those up. I have to drill out, uh, I don't know, like 50 <laughs> blind rivets or so. Um, so it is a hassle, so we're hoping that that was it. Um, but, uh, so yeah, so that gets riveted in. And then the next thing that happens this week as well is the, all of the cover side panels and things like that. You'll notice that we're grabbing a bunch of stuff and getting a bunch of stuff deburred. Um, and later in the video, you'll notice that I prime all of that and it's a ton of priming. I actually used uh, two whole PPS cups. Um, and I am almost out of primer. I want to say I've got maybe two, two PPS cups left uh, worth of primer at this point, which is fine because we're basically almost done um, with the, the metal. Like all of the big pieces uh, will have been primed at this point. There's a couple of strips that you'll see that are still on the shelf um, at the end of the video. And uh, I need to figure out what some of those are for. Some of them are like uh, the brake pedals, which I'm going to get powder coated. And there's a couple of like odds and ends in there. So there's maybe a half PPS cup left of uh, priming to be done and uh, and we'll be good there. So we're also gonna be moving the camera and I want you to let me know if you like the new camera view better. Uh, I'm also thinking about how to get a camera inside the airplane so you can see what I'm working on. I think that'll be helpful. But in the meantime, we're gonna just switch the view to the other side. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get to watch uh, Star Trek with me, but you'll get to see more of the airplane and more of what's going on over here. So hopefully this is better. Let me know in the comments. Another thing that happened this week is the regulator for my uh, pneumatic squeezer finally bit the dust. It was a cheap Harbor Freight regulator. I've been wanting to replace it forever because it's been really flaky. Um, it doesn't hold, like the pressure doesn't seem right, <laughs> no matter what I do. Um, I've promised you guys a review of the pneumatics uh, squeezer. Um, honestly, I've started to really like it. The biggest bit that I don't like about it is how incredibly finicky it is. Oh my gosh, I, I couldn't even tell you how finicky that thing is. Um, I feel, I think I have to bleed it again. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a nightmare. Um, but when the regulator bit the dust and I had to switch to using the other squeezers that I have, I sort of didn't like that, which is interesting, right? Like I've, you know, even though I complain about this one a lot, I have actually started to really like it. So, <laughs> Uh, it, it gets a tentative endorsement. If they can sort out the finickiness, which I, I suspect they won't because, I don't know, <laughs> um, I would say it's fantastic. Um, I wish there was a button on the handle so that I could squeeze it without having to use my feet because every so often, like I have my, as you see in here, I have my head entirely inside the airplane and, uh, you know, like I, there, there it is and I can't see the floor and so... Anyway, uh, tentative endorsement. Um, I don't know that I would do it instead of any of the other squeezers, but definitely in addition to, I'm giving, I'm going with a yes, go for it. But anyway, so uh, we have riveted the floors, you can see there, and we're starting to close up a bunch of stuff, and uh, we're going to be priming the rest of all the panels. You can see some of them are sitting there on the workbench and tons and tons of progress. So this coming week, you're gonna see us start working on brake lines. I'm gonna figure out a camera for you, camera angle so you can see that, and fuel lines and things like that.
All right. As usual, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon.